coach. And what did you get out of the first uh, day or two of, of drills? Uh, same stuff we got out of uh, the, the previous three weeks. Uh, you know, just a lot of teaching. I mean, this is the first time the helmets have been on. So, it, you know, it's been pretty much just non-contact. A lot of teaching. I liked it just because it's a lot of teaching. You know, we spent a couple hours on Tuesday, a couple hours on Thursday just, um, you know, teaching assignment, teaching, um, you know, how to line up the right way. And, all that good stuff. So it, it'll be a little bit more competitive out here today, not a whole lot more. It's still just a lot of teaching, non-contact type stuff. What's the score of the basketball game? Anybody tracking that? Down by three last I saw up a couple up minutes ago. One. Up one? Yeah. Just a second. <laughs> Let's make this quick so we can get back on our phones and figure out if we clinch number two in the in the Big 12. You know? Is teaching different in year whatever, seven? Uh, that it was six or five. I mean, do, do you do a lot of different stuff this year? Yeah, we're we're we got quite a bit in, honestly. I mean, we got you know good numbers uh, across the board, other than D line, uh, but that won't affect what we do. We got good experience in the secondary. And, you know, we got a lot of linebackers to look at, so we can be more multiple, uh, both offensively and defensively. You know, that that part of it's a lot of fun. So you know, and then. Continuity is big. You've heard me talk about that a lot. You know, Gibby with what we're doing defensively, it makes sense. Same stuff we've been doing for five years. And um, although we didn't change a whole bunch, whole bunch on offense, uh, it was still kind of new with Jay calling it new and a quarterback who hadn't played in a, in a while. So a year or two in that, I see a, a, a much more experienced uh, group out there. Well, the emphasis changed from week to week, from week one to week two. You changed the emphasis a bunch. Yeah, yeah, for, for, uh, for, uh, tackling progression and blocking progression more than anything. I mean, you know, day one, no helmets. Day uh, two, no helmets. Day three, helmets. Uh, but we're not wearing even the uppers today. You got spider pads on. That's a different way of teaching. You know, in the next progression, you put the shoulder pads on. You know, maybe do that Tuesday, might do that tomorrow. Uh, you know, Thursday we may put the pants on and actually tackle. You know, so there's different ways. My, one of my main objections, to, uh, uh, objectives as a head coach is, is to is to get every one of these guys to understand how we practice and, and you know the specific uh, uh, ways that we practice and whatever we're wearing is going to dictate how we practice. You know, so uh, tackling progression, practice progression, blocking progression that that will change the closer we get towards spring, the spring, uh, spring game. How much do you have to teach black belt in terms of how much do you understand this offense? How much is new to it? Terminology is all new. Uh, you know, technique of uh, running back, I've, I've liked what I've seen, you know. He coached a pretty couple of pretty good ones at Toledo. Uh, he, he's a football guy. I mean, he's a quarterback guy. He's been in it his whole life. You know, he understands offense. Uh, had got really good experience at Toledo as far as coaching really good running backs, and I thought their production at, at Toledo was outstanding. Um, terminology and all that stuff's going to be new, but uh, it's more important for him to understand uh, the technique of, of, of what these running backs need. What, which was the same is which he's ahead of the curve from what Deuce was a year ago. And Deuce, you know, was experimenting as being a running back coach. Did it for one year, and now he's he's coaching. Pros at running back, so that was pretty cool. Awesome. Let's go walk around. Thanks, coach. I got it.